Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl, Erica Yolanda. And it's Sunday morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. I am getting ready to cook. Yes, I'm going to cook a pot roast, beef pot roast today. And yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along. Let's see what happens. That's ever right there. See that? See all that? Now, the first rules in my house is always have a clean kitchen. And my daddy always said he would never cook if he had a roll of paper towels. And just like my daddy, I keep a roll of paper towels because I use a lot of them when I'm cooking because I'm always washing something or drying something or wiping, washing my hands and drying my hands. And I have to bring out my old faithful pot. If y'all ain't got that, that old faithful cast iron pot right there, you know that cast iron? That's Old Faithful. Gotta have Old Faithful. That's what I use to do my little searing and stuff in this morning. My house is a little dark. Everybody is still asleep. I got up. And you see, this is me. No makeup, nothing. I did take the bonnet off my head for y'all, so... That's what y'all get. Y'all getting me raw, I told y'all. My lips are dry. I brush my teeth. I wash my face. But that's it. No makeup. And I'm going to sit y'all down because I didn't think to even put my little stand that I have to put y'all up on. What do you call it? Yeah, I didn't think to grab that. So I'm going to sit y'all down for a moment while I get my crock pot that sits on top of my refrigerator. So bear with me, okay? Be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I got my crock pot down. And let's see here. I'm trying to do something with my. Well, I probably can't do it. Turn it around. This is my crock pot. Tell me what crock pot y'all use. I use. Rival. 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 I don't know. I've owned this thing for about 10 years and I've only used it twice. But I'm using it today, so let's see. All right, so I got my oil good. My hands are washed. That's the most next important thing. We got the meat. It's ready. Go pick that meat up like this. The season top. We're gonna drop it in there like that. You see that? And I typically do not use my hand, which now I'm getting ready to wash my hand because I never use my hand to touch meat. But I mess around and let the um, <coughs> grease get a little bit too warm this morning. But I got my tongue job. So yeah, that's what we're having today. hear it doing that that means it's gonna be good y'all oh it smells so good we got these peppers got onions and peppers cut up with it they're gonna be so good mm. it's gonna be a good my family gonna love me today and we don't really eat starch in the house so i don't know what vegetables i'm gonna make with it eat a lot of salad. 
And remember, a good chef is a clean chef. Make sure you keep your kitchen clean. Wash everything as you go so you don't have a mess at the end because I don't like washing dishes. I wipe my stoves down. And y'all, one thing about these glass stoves, I don't know, y'all that got glass stoves, tell me how y'all feel about them. I don't want another glass stove. Glass stoves are a mess. You have to, and these new glass stoves, you, saw, you have to polish them a certain way, and you can't waste nothing on them. And these new glass stoves, are, hmm, who came up with that concept? So now I'm going to flip it. Flip it on the other side, y'all. So yeah, these new glass stoves are something else. So, I guess I can tell y'all a little story while I'm cooking this morning. <sighs> Let's see. What, what Sunday morning story can I tell this morning? I think I can tell y'all how I met my husband. <laughs> um, I think he fell, in, he fell in love with me for my food, y'all. He did. We met, I was in the mall, hungover on a Sunday. I went to the mall on a Sunday morning because I had got so drunk the night before that the only place I could get a drink the next day to secure the hangover was at the mall. And I saw a man walking and I, oh. <clears throat> I was also in the mall hanging out with my ex-boyfriend who was like my best friend. Um, the only place to get a drink was in the mall at the Texas Roadhouse. And I saw this guy walking across the way, and I was like, "God, she cute." And then that time, I was thinking like, "All men are dogs; they ain't no good." I said, like, "He probably married the time." Y'all, this man walked right up to me, <laughs> and I was hungover. He didn't even know. And he was like, "If I give you my number, will you call me?" If I give you mine, will you call me? He's like, "Yeah." So back then, I was giving guys my mama number. <laughs> I gave him my mama number. <laughs> and he called. Like a couple of hours later, my mom was like, yo, stop giving these guys my number. Some guy named Barry called. He said, call them back. So I forgot. It's a long, dumb story short. Um, I called them back. We went out the next day. And we went out every night that week. And our first date was on a Sunday. No, it was on a Monday. It was a Monday. And then Friday, I went to his house to cook dinner. And he was like, I want you to cook for me. I'm like, wait, cook? He was like, yeah. So he got like spaghetti out ready for me to cook. And I'm like, okay. So well, I did more than that. I baked the cake too while I was there. Because if y'all know me, y'all know I can bake. And those that really know, know your girl got hands in the kitchen. So I'm like, okay. Y'all, our first date was September 19th, 2008. My daughter was born September 19th, 2009. That was fate. It really was. It was fate. We literally went out every night that we, he took me out after work. And I had work right there. My job was right there um, by the airport. So he lived about an hour away and I lived I was back and forth between living in Savannah and then back in South Carolina so I had you know I was a no man back then I was a free spirit wherever I laid my head with my home that's how I was and you can be that way when you're free with no kids no nothing to tie you down you know but at some point it does get old and it did and God knew what I needed at that moment he sent this breath of fresh air for me and I didn't know <clears throat> that, that that beautiful red man with green eyes that I saw walking across that those mall was gonna be the man that I spent the rest of my life with. And I, I always say, um, and I, I think you probably think I'm crazy. Like he really do, my husband, cause like he'll be walking by and I say, I pray it never fades away. And he'd be like, and I do, I just say, I pray it never fades away. And he'd be like, what are you talking about? And I say, 
Halo don't fade away <laughs> Y'all I love my husband It's crazy But I'm in love This is love right here I must be in love I'm up early in the morning Cooking Sunday dinner For him and my daughter to have for the rest of the week Cause we don't eat very much in my house My daughter is real sticky. Oh, y'all, yeah, this is what it look like. Can you see that? Get that, get that, get that. See that? Now I'm just holding it up, letting it cook on all sides before I put it in my crock pot. Y'all know. Those that know, know. So yeah, we have been together now 12 years. Every day is not perfect. Nothing's perfect. And as you know, being married to me, you got to have the patience of a saint. Cause I told y'all I'm crazy. So he has patience. He's been with me through everything. Through sickness and in health. He's been right there with me. Never left my side. I've had to have a few surgeries here and there. He's the last person I see before they wheel me away. And the first person I see when I'm waking up. And I couldn't ask for nothing better. So my Sunday morning message to y'all, men and women, if y'all find somebody that's willing to stick with you through the good and the bad, make sure y'all sticking with them through the good and the bad too. You gotta have the patience of Job. And Compassion. I always tell y'all to have compassion and heart because we need it. Everybody needs some compassion. Everybody needs some heart. And everybody just needs somebody to give them that, that opportunity, you know? And I took the meat on all sides, y'all. I just got to jump back to the meat. I, I'm telling y'all, I'm all over the place. Y'all got to get into my story because I'll be all over the place. I cook the meat on both sides to make sure we lock in the juices. So when we go to put it in, when we put it in the crock pot, all the juices are going to stop and wipe down my stove because of course, as y'all can imagine, I got grease everywhere. And I stir it with extra virgin olive oil. Y'all going to be like, what kind of soy? What, what did you try this morning? Extra virgin olive oil is what I um, sear the steak with. That's what I sear everything with in this house. And um, I use organic extra virgin olive oil. Because we are in an organic household too, if I didn't tell y'all. <laughs> yes, I shop at Whole Foods. But you don't have to just shop at Whole Foods for organic. All the stores are going organic and stuff now. Like Kroger, Kroger. I guess my best stuff from Kroger. Um, Publix is one of my favorite stores. Wally World, they do all right too. All right, so y'all, we got our steak seared. Got the pepper. I'm ready to put them peppers. And we're going to transfer the steak to the crock pot. Yep. I'm going to sear these peppers up real quick. Am I the only one that... I'm going to put y'all down for a minute. Hold on. Alright. And... This is what it looks like. If y'all can see it good. When I drop it in the... Crock pot, and I put a little bit of butter in there because I don't know if y'all familiar with crock pot. I got a little grease on the phone. With the crock pot, makes a lot of juice by itself, a lot of water, and so I drop a little piece of butter in there and just kind of let it go. And I might put a little bit more um, garlic powder on the top and just let it go. I'm gonna put it on. I think we're gonna do low and slow. At 
let's see, eight hours today. It's Sunday, so it'll be done by four o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna drop a little piece of butter. I'm gonna wash these dishes and I'm gonna go put back on my robe and my bonnet. And I might cut up some sweet potatoes and roast some sweet potatoes later on. Cause like I said, my family, this meal will last us the whole week, literally. We don't eat much in our house at all. Um, and the kids, I don't, well, she's home from school for another long time. She's gonna go back and she's not going back to school. She's doing virtual learning. So, um, yeah, I did all my Walmart shopping yesterday. All my Publix and I didn't go to Kroger yesterday, believe it or not. Saturday and I didn't go to Kroger. I didn't. I told y'all I didn't feel like shopping yesterday. I was in a, you know, just it's been a really long week, y'all. Um, so I appreciate y'all waking up with me and cooking with me. If you're watching this video, thank you, thank you. And I forgot to say, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a video. I said I was posting six days out of seven days a week. Last week I posted five days. I actually found that I like posting five days. Five days is good. I'm new at this. This is my second week of, you know, YouTubing. So welcome. Um, thank all you guys for supporting me. And again, don't forget to subscribe. And tell me what else you want to see me cook. Y'all, your girl got hands. Um, my channel has always been about, going to be about story time. But I think I like cooking and telling y'all some stories too. Like I just told y'all how I met my husband. I'm going to tell y'all a lot of my stories about my husband. He's pretty cool. I like him. But... Oh, y'all, I see a red robin on the trampoline this morning. Oh, I wish y'all could see him. Um, but yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to put my bonnet back on and get back in my house clothes. And I'm going back to bed, y'all. We're going to let this go low, slow for eight hours. And then by the time this afternoon comes, they'll be ready to eat. So thank you, YouTube. Y'all be blessed. And don't forget to be a blessing to somebody. And if you can't be a blessing to them, don't be a curse on them. Be blessed. Have a good week, and I'll see you guys tomorrow if the creek don't rise. Happy Sunday.